Entrepreneur on Fire, episode 230. Welcome to EntrepreneurOnFire.com, where remarkable entrepreneurs share their inspiring story. Let their journey illuminate your path to success. And now, your host, John Dumas. Hola, Fire Nation. HTM what? Don't worry, you don't need to know. Squarespace offers a platform that makes building your website easy and fun. Drag and drop away. For a free trial and 10% off, go to squarespace.com and use the offer code FIRE. Finding it tough to collaborate with your team online? Try GoToMeeting with HD Faces, the powerfully simple way to connect. Try it free for 30 days. Visit GoToMeeting.com, click the Try It Free button, and use the promo code FIRE. Okay, Fire Nation, let's get started. I am simply thrilled to introduce my guest today, Gerald Rogers. Gerald, are you prepared to ignite? Absolutely. <laughs> All right. Gerald is a transformational leader, speaker, and coach. He has trained thousands of individuals on how to discover their purpose, step into their power, and learn how to make their purpose-driven businesses profitable and live big. I've given Fire Nation a little overview, Gerald, but take a minute. Tell us about you personally. We want to get to know you. And then tell us about your business. Well, thank you. Yeah, I'm super passionate about assisting entrepreneurs that feel like they have a calling, have a mission, and they want to make a big difference in the world, and they want to get paid well for it. I'm so passionate about it because that's been my journey over the last 15 years of being an entrepreneur and, and just kind of walking through the the jungle of life and <laughs> trying to figure yeah. out how, how to make things work as an entrepreneur. And I know there's a lot of roadblocks. I know there's a lot of obstacles that we face and, and especially for solopreneurs that work from home and, and kind of are, are the lone man or lone woman in their business. I think it's so valuable just to be able to have community and have coaching and have support. And so that's, that's really what I do. And I've been doing workshops and seminars for about five years and just super passionate about, the work that I do and the breakthroughs that I get to see people have. And, and I, I love my life. I love the fact that I get to wake up every day and feel like I'm making a huge difference in other people's lives. And I get to kind of choose my own hours and choose who I want to be with. And, and I love it. So I'm, I'm super passionate about what I do because, you know, I, I see it making a difference in other people's lives too. Lone man or lone woman. I love that because it's so true and it's such a, obstacle that so many entrepreneurs need to get over because we're so used to that workspace where we have other peers to complain to or bosses to make us go do this or that. And then suddenly when you do take that leap and you're out there and you're just looking at your computer and you're in your own house and it's all quiet, you just kind of feel like you're all alone in the world. And that's really what's so powerful about podcasts like Entrepreneur on Fire and blog posts like Think Traffic or Pat Flynn's Smart Passive Income because it lets people know that there are others out there, it helps us build a community, build a tribe, which I like to call my tribe, Fire Nation. Really enjoy uh, trying to build that community of accountability and encouragement. And we're going to get so much more into this because it's such a key topic and everything that you do on a daily basis. But before we do, Gerald, we love starting Entrepreneur on Fire Off with a success quote to get that motivational ball rolling. So take it away. Absolutely. So here's, here's a quote that's been on my mind lately. Um, I believe there's so much power in gratitude and our ability to be happy and our ability to create comes down so much for in, in terms of our ability to receive and accept and experience the abundance that's around us all over the place. Um, and so this quote actually comes from Lao Tzu, who wrote the book, The Tao Te Ching, you know, an ancient Chinese book. And for those of you that are familiar with Taoism, um, you'll, you'll understand the roots of it. But the quote is really powerful. It says, be content with what you have. Rejoice in the way things are. When you realize there is nothing lacking, the world belongs to you. And what I love about that is it's just a good reminder that we have what we need right now to be happy. And, and when we create from a space of abundance, the creation comes more fluidly from us and, and we are able to be in flow and 
and be able to magnify our creation so much more than when we're coming from a space of scarcity. So always come from a space of abundance and just remember that, that you can just rejoice in the way things are right now and be content with what you have and the world is yours. Such wise words on so many levels, Gerald. And at Entrepreneur on Fire, we are all about the story. And this is your story. So share with us your story. How have you applied this to your life? I remember the day that I was sitting in my house and it was two o'clock in the morning. It had been a couple days that I had not been able to sleep at all. And that night I had had a conversation with my wife and had come to the point where we were realized that I needed to declare bankruptcy. I'd been a real estate investor for years and found myself half a million dollars in debt and and was so devastated. And here I was, like, eyes were red from bawling and crying and just, like, wondering, okay, what do I do? Do I need to go get a job? How do I I fix this mess that I've created for myself? And and I think it was in that moment that night as I kind of looked around and I felt this surge of, of... awareness and choice and accountability come into my life. And I realized that I had a mission in my life and there was nothing that was going to stop me from living it, that I was going to do whatever it took to make things right. I was going to do whatever it took to step more fully into living my my mission and purpose. And I was not going to allow whatever failures came into my life to be an excuse for me to stop. And that moment really was a turning point in my life. That's, that's a moment where I chose to, you know, step into this mission of, of living big and inspiring others and, and to never allow the excuses of a failure to hold me back from, from making the contribution I felt called to make. And sure, there were a lot of hard times um, as I started trying to figure out how to get my message out there. But in that, that space... Because that commitment was there for me, those obstacles became minimal. Um, it's like when, whenever you're committed at a level 10, any challenge that's an 8 or a 9 is no big deal. If you're only committed to level 7 and you face a level 9 problem, you're done. But if you're committed to level 10, it's like game over. You can accomplish anything. And that, that moment of decision helped me create that commitment in my life. Well, Gerald, that was a powerful moment. Thank you for sharing. And let's keep that ball rolling in that area because that was obviously a major failure that you encountered as an entrepreneur or as just a person in general. And you've obviously bounced back from that, which is very inspiring and very powerful to behold. And again, Entrepreneur on Fire, it's about the journey of our guests and you are a spotlighted guest. So Our next topic is specifically failure. It's challenges and obstacles, which you've already shared a massive one in relating to your quote. So I'd love for you to reach back in your journey to another failure or potentially obstacle or challenge that you faced at some point that you really had to dig deep to overcome. And how'd you overcome that? Absolutely. So when I first um, made a commitment to start building a business around sharing my message, um, I decided I, I, I felt impressed to, to launch this event, a, a seminar. And, you know, anytime we're beginning any venture, we have no idea how to do it. We just, oh, yeah. it's just birth from a two o'clock in the morning idea. And it's like, okay, I'm going to figure out how to way to do it. Um, and so I, you know, one thing about me that I've realized is when I make a commitment, I dive head first, but I don't always check how deep the water is. <laughs> And so, um, and so it's just like, yeah. And, and so I was, I was just filled with all this passion. And, and one thing I've noticed is whenever someone is filled with passion, then all of a sudden everyone just aligns and everyone wants to be part of it. And, right. and I, I just set a date, like, I'm just like, okay, we're just going to make this happen. So I did it, set a date for about six weeks later. Like I was just going, I'm just going to make this happen. And in those six weeks, we, you know, amazingly, we're able to get like 1,200 people registered for the first event that I held. And it was, it was phenomenal um, just to see the momentum that was created just because of that pure, ignorant passion. <laughs> and, um, and so I held the event. Uh, we only had about 300 people, 350 people show up. But there were so many things I didn't know when I was getting started. And I made every mistake you can imagine. And I found myself at the end of the event um, realizing that 
I, you know, for a lot of different reasons, I ended up losing $45,000 on that first experience. And I think that, I think for a lot of people that would have stopped them, I think it would have um, made them think, oh my gosh, do I really want to do this? And, and, you know, after, after investing so much of my heart and energy to lose that much money, it was really, really frustrating and discouraging. But it also, in terms of my perspective of failure, as I believe failure is, is, is a, it's not even a reality. Failure only happens if you give up. And for me, I realized, you know, this sucks, but I'm going to figure out a way to make it right. I'm going to figure out the system. And it almost inspired me just because I had such an epic disaster of that first event. Um, like it, it woke something up. And it's like, I am going to one way or another find a way to be successful at that. And and once again, I think it's a perspective of failure that most entrepreneurs have to have that inspires them to pick themselves up once they get knocked down and find a way to figure it out. And and what I believe is as long as you're committed to getting up enough times, you will find a way to be successful. And that's that's been a huge lesson for me. All right, Gerald, let's now talk really briefly about this experience in general. Now, one thing that I really want Fire Nation to take away from this is that you know, Gerald just could have thought that he wanted to have this seminar and then waited and tried to become a pro at it and just let all this time go by and all this availability to learn and grow. But when it comes down to it a lot of times, you need to just launch and fail and then just continue on from that. That's how you can build from that because until you're really just getting out there. And I did the same thing with, with Entrepreneur on Fire. When I first launched this podcast, I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't really know how to broadcast or how to get the message out or how to really engage with guests. But I got out there and I had a couple bad episodes. I had a couple good ones and I got some feedback and I kept improving. And that's exactly what you did, Gerald. And pull out just a couple really specific examples. We really want to learn from this seminar experience. What were some things, in very briefly, that you learned that you really would have changed if you could go back and have done it all over again? Absolutely. So I think the first thing that I learned was when I booked the hotel, like I had never done, done an um, event like this. And so I had, I had actually, I had actually guaranteed, made a hundred room guarantee a night at basically the Ritz Carlton. So oh. basically if those rooms weren't filled by my guests, I would have to pay for them. <laughs> so I ended up paying for about, you know, 75 rooms a night at this super expensive hotel for three nights. And then, then I paid $45,000 for the AV system and, and for the support there. And, and the big lesson that I learned from that is when you're starting, make sure that you start with passion and, and build a big vision, but also start small and work your way up. Um, yeah. the other thing, the other thing that I realized is if you want to be great at anything, you have to be willing to be bad at it. When I kept moving forward, I just had to be aware of bringing in the right team members and to realize that any big vision can't be done by myself, right? If I want to have a world-class experience for my guests, if I want to be a world-class expert, I need to have world-class teammates, one of my past guests, David Wood, put it so well. He said, every master was a disaster. And those words ring true for everybody. I mean, you look at anybody that's successful right now or anybody that holds a high position and you look at them and they're polished or they may be good at what they do now. Professional athletes are a great example. Nobody was ever a master day one. You had to fail and just be horrible. Kobe Bryant didn't make his first foul shot. I mean, there's so many mistakes that people make along the way, but because they were willing to make those mistakes and be a disaster, they were able to overcome. So powerful stuff, Gerald. And I just want to move out of the darkness into the light now. We want to go to the other end of the spectrum. It's so important to talk about failures and obstacles and challenges because that's how we improve as entrepreneurs. But it's also incredibly important to celebrate the successes. And what I want to talk about now are aha moments and light bulbs that go off for entrepreneurs every single day on certain levels. They inspire us. They pivot us. They have us pivot in different directions. We move forward from them. So share with us a time that you had an aha moment when that light bulb turned on and how'd you turn that moment into success? 
That's a, such a powerful question. And there's an element about being an entrepreneur where you almost feel like the, the aha moments come on a daily basis. It's just like these constant light bulbs when you're living in the space of being a conscious creator. Aha moment for me was just realizing that there will always be more opportunities than I have capacity for. And my power as an entrepreneur doesn't come from doing more, but it comes from doing less, better. And to realize that rather than even having, you know, five or 10 different projects or events that I'm creating, to just have one thing that I really harness my energy and focus my time on. And and I thought of this analogy, which I thought was really powerful, which was about the spatial. When, uh, for years, I lived down in Orlando, Florida, and we would go out to see Cape Canaveral to watch the space shuttle launch. And I just saw all of the incredible energy and fuel that required to get that space shuttle off the ground and into space. I mean, literally millions and millions of pounds of fuel were required to get it up. And I thought for a moment, what if what if those rockets that they had were pointing in opposite directions and they were trying to go to two or three destinations at the same time? There's no possible way that that space shuttle could ever get out of the atmosphere and into orbit. And I thought that's a lot like our business, isn't it? It's like if we want to create that success, and for me, if I want to really create that maximum impact that I want, I need to focus all of my energy in one direction, on one product and one focused goal. And when I do that, then I'm able to create the momentum necessary to get it into orbit where it then becomes easy to maintain. But if I'm trying to do two or three or four things at the same time, it never gets off the ground and ends up in a epic disaster. So for me, that the power of focus has just been a major theme in my life over the, over the last couple of weeks. I love that word focus, Gerald. In fact, multiple times, whenever I can on Entrepreneur on Fire, I love to use the acronym for focus, which is follow one course until success. Mm, I like that. And I love your analogy with the space shuttle because that's so important for entrepreneurs to realize because sometimes when you're first starting something and you're having to learn so much and gather all this information and there's just so many things that you know, you have to get done on this one single project. It's taking so much of your energy, so much of your brain power, so much of your time. But think of it as that space shuttle. You're just creating all this energy that you need to to launch into space. And then once you do get into orbit, gravity's gone. It's floating along. And that's where you've launched that product, that service that now is out there for people to consume without you having to do any more work. And that's really powerful, especially this day and age. That just really turned a light bulb on for me when you were talking. I immediately saw where you were going with that, and I love that. But I want you to just tie this down with one sentence. What's one clear lesson that you had from this aha moment? Simplicity and focus is the core of power in your business, period. I hope that you come back and write that down, Gerald, because that was powerful. <laughs> so let's now talk about something that a lot of entrepreneurs find interesting to answer, which is why I love to ask this question. Have you had an I've made it moment? You know, I, I've, I've had a lot of I made it moments. One specifically, very first event I did out here in Salt Lake City was where, where I live right now. Um, it's it's kind of like the stars were aligned for those three days as, as we had about 150 gas and it was just so incredible just the connection and the rapport that we had and the transformations were taking place. And at the end of the event, it was, it was one of those events where in the course of three days, we ended up making about $315,000 from that event. And um, that was really powerful and it blew us away. But even more than that, as we read the testimonials of the people that were at the event and saw the community that was created and the the connections that were made, it was just this overwhelming sense of um, being on purpose and and being in a place where God was able to work through me. And that was really powerful. That was a big catalyst for a lot of personal change and personal evolution in my life. And, and um, yeah, it was, it's just amazing when we as entrepreneurs get to experience that sweet, nectar of of feeling like you know god's been able to use us to do something great 
So, Gerald, one thing we love talking about here is the journey. And you shared your roller coaster of a journey, which is extremely similar to every single entrepreneur. There's ups, there's downs, there's peaks, there's valleys, there's plateaus. Overall, at this moment in time, are you enjoying your journey? Oh, I love my journey. I love it so much. Every day it's just like I'm I'm so excited about it. And and every day it's like new challenges come up, new things that are obstacles or new things that are um, you know, just like, oh my gosh, really? What do I get to learn today? But I I I love challenges. I love that things don't always work out the way I want them to. And it just inspires me so much to think that um you know that that I've got so much more to learn and I think for me enjoying the journey really comes down to that it's this insatiable hunger to learn and to grow and and that only comes from being in the journey and not expecting to ever be at quote unquote the the ideal destination wonderful gerald let's now move into your current business talk to fire nation about one thing that is just really exciting you right now so I am launching some Facebook AdWord campaigns that I'm really excited about. And those are leading people into one-on-one conversations. If people want to have an in-depth marketing consultation and want to learn how to get their message and learn, want to learn how to create major breakthroughs. And, and I've never done paid you know, PPC or Facebook AdWord campaigns. And for me, this is a huge new growth opportunity and I'm excited to have a team that supports me in that. And, and then really simp- simplifying my, my product line to down to one core coaching program, which helps people get their message out there and make money, you know, either as a coach or a speaker, as an expert that wants to make a big difference. And, and for me, that Facebook um, campaign combined with the simplified focus is just like turning me on right now and I'm super excited about it. So what's the number one tip that you could share with Fire Nation that you've learned while creating this Facebook AdWord campaign? Well, the big thing is make sure you have a team that can support you. Like Facebook AdWord, PPC campaigns, SEO. I mean, all of those things are, you would have to spend so much time and energy to, to master it on your own. And as an entrepreneur, you just don't, have that focus and it's probably not your strength. And so bring in the team that can help manage that for you. But as the entrepreneur, you've got to have the vision of what you want the end outcome to be. You can delegate responsibility, but you can't abdicate responsibility. You still need to be responsible as as the entrepreneur to make sure the result happens, but to bring in the right team members that know the logistics and the the specific tactics to make that happen. And, and everything's about testing and tweaking. And so don't expect one thing to work first off and, and don't expect it to work indefinitely. You have to always be willing to adjust and refine and, and to keep, um, keep changing and evolving. Through working with your team, have you found something specifically that's working for you? You know, we're actually just launching the video campaign this um, upcoming Ooh, week. Well, that's a keyword, video, Fire Nation. Video is working great on Facebook. Go ahead, Gerald. Yeah, so, so basically the campaign basically looks like some ads that go to a very specific targeted niche. What's great about Facebook AdWords is you can target yes. based on what your audience likes. So for instance, my audience is very similar to Brendan Burchard's and he's got 150,000 followers. So I can (laughs) basically target my campaign directly towards his followers. And then from there, it pushes them into a free video training series, which includes an intro video and then three other videos that all deliver massively powerful content and then enroll them or invite them to have a one-on-one strategy session with me. And so that's basically what the campaign looks like. And, and the great thing about Facebook is you can target it to your niche very effectively. Great stuff, Gerald. So Fire Nation, in today's tech-savvy business world, most of us find ourselves working with clients who are spread across the country, even the globe. This makes it difficult to really build a strong connection. That's why every business should know about GoToMeeting with HD Faces. With GoToMeeting by Citrix, your clients are just a click away. You can share your screen in real time, allowing you to give presentations and talk face-to-face. 
I use GoToMeeting when I want to collaborate in real time with someone I've never had the opportunity to meet in person. This allows me to establish a stronger relationship, and even though we may not be in the same room, it feels like we are. Try GoToMeeting free for 30 days. For this special offer, visit GoToMeeting.com, click the Try It Free button, and use a promo code FIRE. Remember, promo code FIRE. Go to meeting. Meeting is believing. So, Fire Nation, let's thank today's other sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform that offers you the best website features around for one low monthly price. What exactly does all-in-one mean? Well, with Squarespace, you're getting a platform which includes features that automatically look great on any device through responsive design. So when it comes to a mobile-ready site, you're already set. Squarespace is also incredibly easy to use thanks to their drag-and-drop technology. And packages are super affordable. If you sign up for one year, you'll get your domain name for free in a package that starts at just $8 a month. Squarespace, everything you need to create an exceptional website. Sign up for a free trial and get 10% off when you go to squarespace.com and use the offer code FIRE. That's squarespace.com, offer code FIRE. Fire. All right, Gerald, we've now reached my favorite part of the show. We're about to enter the lightning round, and this is where I get to ask you a series of questions, and you come back at us, Fire Nation, with amazing and mind blowing answers. Sound like a plan? (laughs) No problem. Yes. Sounds good. What was holding you back from becoming an entrepreneur? Um, Ignorance. I didn't even know that that whole world existed. And so I, I, um, yeah, I, I was just completely oblivious. And then once it was exposed to me, um, I tried to do it on on my own. I was a do-it-yourselfer. Yeah. And that was a major, major problem when I was getting started. What's the best business advice you've ever received? Um, best business advice is just follow your purpose with passion, bar none. Like when you are passionate about something, and you have that commitment long term, then miracles happen. And so just focus on feeding the passion. Feed the passion. What's something that's working for you right now? Um, really networking with high performers and, and with the centers of influence. Finding the people that are already speaking to my audience and building deep relationships where I add massive value to them. And then they, in turn, share my message and share who I am with, with their tribes. Do you have an internet resource like an Evernote that you're just in love with that you can share with our listeners? So I use vworker.com a lot. It's kind of like elands.com. Yeah. Um, but basically for outsourcing all of my little projects, all the little web things, there's unlimited numbers of contractors in all sorts of different areas that are so inexpensive and easy to work with. So vworker.com is just an amazing resource to, to outsource projects. Well, Fire Nation, you can find the links to this resource and everything else that we've mentioned in today's episode by going to entrepreneuronfire.com slash Gerald Rogers. So Gerald, if you could recommend one book for our listeners, what would it be? Um, The book that I would recommend is The Alchemist by Paolo Coelho. Um, It's just an inspiring book, just really about pursuing your dreams and and going on that journey. So I love that book, The Alchemist. Oh, it is such a keeper in Fire Nation. You can get the audio version of this book for free by going to eofirebook.com. It's a gift from Audible for Entrepreneur on Fire listeners. eofirebook.com. That book's a winner. So this next question is my favorite, Gerald, but it's kind of tricky. So take your time, digest it, and then come back at us with an answer. Imagine you woke up tomorrow morning in a brand new world, identical to earth, but you knew no one. You still have all the experience and knowledge you currently have, your food and shelter is taken care of, but all you have is a laptop and $500. What would you do in the next seven days? Yeah, so for me, the answer is very simple. I would really go out and focus on finding core centers of influence. I would go to networking groups. I would go to... Um, hop on the phone. I would figure out everyone that is that is, you know, r- making a difference, and that's a big player in the industry that I'm I'm in. 
And I would go and I would take them out for lunch and I would create some sort of experience for them to be part of. And I would enroll them into a vision of um, participating together in in creating something for their audience. Um, and then from there, yeah, I would just focus on I'm, – I'm an event guy. So it's, it's easy for me to say I would create some yeah. seminar, some workshop, some event, and just bring all these big players in to support me in, in creating that vision. Mm. Well, you got to know what you love, and that was actionable advice, Gerald. And you've given us actionable advice this entire interview, and we are all better for it. Give Fire Nation one parting piece of guidance, share how we can find you, and then we'll say goodbye. So my parting piece of guidance is simply stay in tune with your purpose. When you're in alignment with your purpose, you're able to step into your power, and from that power, you're able to produce um, and this for me, it was, is what living big is all about is just pushing your potential and stretching yourself and, and staying in alignment with that purpose every day. Um, if those of you that are listening to this are interested in learning more about how to be a purpose driven producer, you can go to geraldrogers.com and there you can get some free videos and some free training to support you on that journey. And there's some places where you can download free audio programs. Um, and I would love to support you. I would love to be part of your team as you're launching your purpose and living your mission and making a difference in the world. So once again, this is GeraldRogers.com. And so that's my advice is just a fire nation, go light it up and go yes. make that huge difference and, and, and never stop. I mean, the, the world is hungry for leaders, so step up and lead. And, you know, it's up to people like you, members of the Fire Nation, to lead through this whole new evolution that the country is going through. And entrepreneurs, I believe, are without question the key to saving this country. Mm. Ignite. GeraldRogers.com, entrepreneuronfire.com, slash Gerald Rogers for a summation of everything we've talked about and all the resources and links. Gerald, thank you for being so generous with your time, your expertise, your experience. Fire Nation salutes you, and we'll catch you on the flip side. Thank you so much. Now let's give it up for our five-star reviews, Little Boy Pete, HVAC L, Eric Fisk, Beauty Queen 12, Travel Light, Money Q Dog, Jam 7819, Will Shaker, John Budd, and RD Doc. Thank you so much for supporting Entrepreneur on Fire, and I look forward to thanking everyone who does the same. To all you inspired entrepreneurs out there, are you ready to take your dreams and passions and ignite? If so, then Fire Nation Elite is for you. Fire Nation Elite is a mastermind that I have formed and will be leading. If you are in need of a tribe of like-minded entrepreneurs whose sole focus is to support, motivate, encourage, and hold accountable every member within, then Fire Nation Elite is for you. Go to FireNationElite.com to find out more. That's FireNationElite.com. Thank you for joining us at EntrepreneurOnFire.com. Your daily dose of inspiration. Prepare to ignite.